10 Most Horrible Space Launch Failures in History The new space run is such that Jeff Bezos will travel into space aboard his own rocket. This trip brings to the table the opportunity of selling tickets to space. However, if the launch goes wrong, that's it, all is lost. Don't believe me? Stay tuned to find out. Number 10. Antares The record shows that it was a successful Antares liftoff, but when the rocket seemed to have gained momentum to leave our planet, an issue with the turbo pump in one of the engines made it plummet back to its launching pad. This failure cost them $80 million in equipment. Luckily, nobody was driving the spacecraft as it was merely carrying supplies for NASA's International Space Station. Still, this accident from 2014 made NASA wonder whether or not their vehicles were safe, so they made repairs to their engines for future launches. Man. Oh my God. Number 9. Atlas 1958 in 1950, the United States came up with the idea of building new models of intercontinental ballistic missiles called Atlas. But after a while, they found out the boosters were so powerful they'd be better used to send rockets into space. This video from 1958 is about a test during the development of the Atlas rockets. In this failed mission, the vehicle couldn't lift off. In this opportunity, as you can see from the images, the pilot managed to escape on a mini emergency rocket before a huge blast makes everything catch fire. Oh my God! Number eight, Challenger. The next case wrote one of the saddest chapters in human history. On the morning of January 28, 1958, the Challenger Space Shuttle was going to travel off the Earth with seven crew members. The event caused great expectation. It was broadcast on TV, and even the astronauts' families went there to witness the launch. The Challenger was boosted by two rockets and soared into the air for 73 seconds. Everything seemed to be going well until the spacecraft disintegrated before thousands of people because one of the boost engines failed. It was such a major shock that even today we keep honoring these seven space travel martyrs. Did you watch the Netflix series yet? I highly recommend it! Number 7. Juno 2 It seems that the Juno 2 rockets were not the most reliable vehicles ever made by the United States. They were used to launch 10 satellites, of which 6 failed. And this one from July 1959 was the most catastrophic of all. It lifted off, sure, but it veered toward the ground just about instantly like a missile, blowing everything up due to the guidance system lost power as the result of a short circuit. The huge fireball on your screen consumed $10.83 million. Number 6. Titan 1 Unlike the Juno 2 rockets, the Titan 1s were more reliable. Only 2 out of 49 exploded. Wait, what? At least it's a small amount. The unmanned rocket from 1959 not even lifted off. As soon as it was off the pad, boom! $12.6 million were poured down the drain. The Titan I was initially intended to launch bombs. Once more, it was going to directly replace the Atlas, the rocket from number 9, but they used it to launch satellites in the end. Number 5. Atlas 1957 this is the brother of the rocket from number 9, that's why it's named like it. But this one was launched a year earlier. This unmanned rocket lifted off in December 1957 as a test for the development of following Atlas rocket models. However, the boosters couldn't bear the weight and the vehicle flipped over the same flames that had pushed it, so it caught fire. As you can see, it did burn and headed to the ground like a missile. Good thing the officers in charge destroyed it remotely before it caused a bigger mess. Nearly all critical components were recovered. Number 7. Falcon 9 This time I've got you a rocket built by SpaceX, the American company that launches tourists into space just like Jeff Bezos with Blue Moon. This video is from 2015 as part of the development of the Falcon 9 rockets. The liftoff was great, so much so that the rocket reached a considerable height. However, it was involved in a catastrophic mess. A loose metal bar bored a gas valve and caused the explosion. Don't worry, no one was on board, 
but this is what $62 million looks like disintegrating into the air without a trace. A heavy blow to Elon Musk's wallet, the owner of SpaceX. Number 3. Atlas Centaur Atlas Centaur rockets are the descendants of the Atlas from numbers 9 and 5, and as dignified heirs, of course they had a turbulent uh, performance. This record from 1962 shows the first attempt by an Atlas Centaur to fly. The unmanned rocket soared into the air for a minute, and then it merely disintegrated. Seventy million dollars were gone in the blink of an eye. According to the investigation, the booster consumed everything because the pressurization failed. Number 2. Atlas Centaur 5 Do you remember when I mentioned that the Atlas Centaur rocket's performance was turbulent? Well, here we have another protagonist in a catastrophic trip. The Atlas Centaur 5 from 1965 managed to lift off, though I wish it hadn't, because it barely reached a few feet when its engine shut down, so it fell back into the launching pad and exploded. Boom! This time, the United States didn't want to reveal how much money they had lost. That's confidential. Having heard all this, if I were an astronaut and my rocket had Atlas in its name, I wouldn't board. Not even drunk. And now, get ready because the next rocket is the most erratic you've ever seen. Number 1. Proton M This is terrifying. In 2013, the Russian Proton M rocket started to tilt soon after the liftoff. They tried to correct the flight trajectory by moving the vehicle to the other side, but they kind of overdid things. So, in an attempt to amend the mistake, they had to move it further to the other side. However, it was too much. The dancing rocket set on fire and fell down like a remote control missile to Earth. Thank goodness it wasn't carrying astronauts. But of course, the satellite it wanted to put into orbit turned to dust, causing $65 million in losses. Ouch! Do you still want to buy a Blue Moon or SpaceX ticket to space? I would have second thoughts about it, and if the spacecraft says Atlas, no, there's no way. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and hit the bell icon. See you in the next Space Odyssey!